morning there, Joster. How are you doing today? I hope you won't mind. I'm gonna go out and have lunch with our pal Video Bob. Yeah, I wish I could take you, but can't do it this time. I want everybody to see your beautiful face first thing though, right? Days with Jordan the Lion and job begins now. That's right, my friends. This should be a fun day. Every time I come to Vegas, I have a handful of friends that I try and always hang out with as much as possible. Didn't, wasn't able to make it happen with Bruce Kulik this time. Eric Singer wasn't in town, but Video Bob is the one friend that I haven't got to hang out with. So this should be fun. He promised me a unique ride to our lunch at the Golden Tiki. I've never been to the Golden Tiki either, so Video Bob's a character. This should be an interesting day. So Video Bob is an interesting character because he's kind of we kind of call him the Gomez Adams of Las Vegas. He makes movie prop cars and just an odd dude, but he's a good guy and everything. He's a fun guy, so this will be an interesting time hanging out with him for sure. I'm kind of curious to what we're going to be riding in. You've probably seen Video Bob on Pawn Stars. He's been on there a couple times and he had his own show at one point making the movie cars. Expected something a little fancier than this. What'd you say, guys? We're not taking your car today, we're taking something else? All right. Oh, brother, we're at Video Bob's Haunted Mansion. Yep, definitely Video Bob's welcome mat. Screen Machines on the Rails channel. That was your show, there he is. There it was, my 15 minutes of fame. There you can see, walking into Video Bob's house. Pretty typical as to what I would have expected right there. Uh, nice to see you, video, Bob. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me over. Eric Singer's drum, kick drum down here on display. Yeah. Very cool. He likes to put a um, little tribute to Neil Peart Rush here and also Kobe. That's so, very true. Uh, yeah, this is one of his drums cut in half. Got some of Gene's boots, you know. This is normally my Judas Priest display, but I took the coat off of him, uh -huh, so it's just, uh -huh. now he's naked, which he probably prefers. But, uh, I have nice. These, well, you were talking about at the Kish Museum. You know, you can only get one of these if you're friends with Gene. Yeah, yeah. So I don't wear this very often, but I wear it. Just only when you see Gene, stuff. though, right? Yeah, you got to suck up to him somehow. You got to wear his hat. So you got a special ride for us today. Where? What's the Golden Tiki? I mentioned to two friends on my way out here that I was going. They said oh, you been never been there. Tiki. No, they've it never is, been, and you recommended it. So it is the greatest tiki bar on the planet Earth happens to be here in Vegas. There's a great connection between Las Vegas and Hawaii. And um, I don't know what it is. Video Bob did some of his guest rooms in themes of artists he likes. So this is the Elvis room with the gold door and a uh, nice gold theme with Elvis jumpsuits all over the room. You're a big Elvis fan. Of course I am. And of course, Kiss Fanatic, he's got to have a Kiss room with a authentic Paul smash guitar. This is video Bob, answer. I smashed this guitar in Las Vegas for you. I, I framed that. Actually, um, for Christmas, Eric gave me this one. This is off the last tour. So, you know, Billy Baker makes these for him. Yeah. He never gives these to anybody, but, you know, uh, my wife calls Eric my girlfriend because we're always hanging out. She's like, you going out with that blonde girlfriend of yours? Um, so, that was my Christmas present from Eric. And in this room, Kiss can watch you while you sleep. Yeah. Right over your head. Except the cat man's staring at the ceiling. Peter Chris, Eric Singer. And what guest room would be complete without a light up Gene tongue pointed at you while you sleep? Oh, I love that, dude. First of all, Vigo. nice choice in the carpet and everything, but uh, Thank you. Thank you. Ghostbusters 2. Go with the Vigo. The ruler of Carpathia. This company gave me these chairs for doing a review. Oh, nice. Yeah, these are Eames uh, loungers. There's uh, Vinnie Paul's drum set. And his hat. All the hardware you're seeing there, all the stands and the cymbals, that's uh, all Pantera stage used stuff. That was from the very last Pantera show. Vinnie gave me all that equipment because he didn't use Pearl anymore. He transitioned over to D-Drum, and so he gave me all that equipment. And we used this as our practice kit with my band. And, uh, but when he died, I retired it. We built the stage to hold it. This is the uh, the artwork of jeans that you got suckered into buying. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I got peer pressured into buying this at his gallery. It was I was the first person to buy one of Jean's artworks. Funny story. Eric right calls me. One. Eric calls me and he says I got video Bob invited to Jean's art gallery. I said how'd you do that? He goes 
I told Gene, hey, you gotta invite him because if you invite him, he'll be forced to buy something. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> right there, best friends. Best friends for life. So apparently, this is our ride today. I grew up being a huge fan of the Mystery Machine Scooby-Doo, so I love it. I think he actually took this in on trade. I don't think he made this one. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. He's out here cleaning it off before we take it. He has a story about him loaning this out the other day. This should be a blast. I can't wait. Oh, wow. I didn't know the inside was uh, so awesome. Well, <laughs> I love it, dude. It's not completely finished. I mean, we just Yeah, but I love it. That's more awesome. Of an interior van than it is an interior van. I don't know. That's pretty interior right there, man. I love that the inside of this has fluorescent green bean bags. Oh, yeah. Nice. It doesn't ride too bad. He said it was going to be a little noisy, but it's not too bad. Well, you know, it's a rattly van with the windows down. What year is this van? Out of curiosity. I know you You told me you got this in on trade, so I don't want people to think you... Uh, no, no, you... I, I, it's a, it's a, I think it's a 95. It was one of the last years they made this van. It was made by a fan who saw one of the other Scooby vans I built, and it inspired him to build this one. He put it up for sale, and I contacted him, and he goes, oh my gosh, the entire reason I built this van was because I saw yours at a car show, and I wanted to replicate it. And he needed money, and so I bought the van in San Antonio, and I drove it all the way here to Vegas. Awesome. It was about three day drive. So he drove it from Texas to Vegas. I mean, that's how reliable it is. That's crazy. Well, I, I did it in the winter time, you know, so it wasn't, it doesn't have air conditioning yet. I haven't put it in. And it was nice and cold out. So did you solve any crimes on the way? I did. I saw, you know, it was Mr. Withers again at the Haunted Amusement Park, of course. Always. Pretty cool ride, I gotta say. It's one of those things as a kid, I, if I knew I gotta do it when I was a grown up, I would have been beside myself. So, getting to ride in the mystery machine with uh, Video Bob, awesome. Let's get some Scooby snacks. We've just parked. There's the golden tiki right there. So, what's this story you were telling me about this? Uh, nice, the mystery machine. You loaned this out the other day to a couple of our pals. Well, as you know, Jerry McCambridge. The mentalist, yeah, and, Jerry McCambridge. And, and, um, our friend Eric Singer. So Jerry says, hey, I'm, I want to buy this couch off of Craigslist or whatever. It's like 200 bucks and Eric's going to help me load it. You know, will you help us? I go, listen, I'm busy. You guys can go by the house. I'll have Rachel give the keys. You can take the Scooby van. And uh, so they drive over to this place. It's at an apartment complex. They realize it's upstairs and they're like, we're not doing this. I go, listen, you guys are a couple of millionaires. Hire somebody to deliver the couch for you. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, imagine you're Eric Singer, Jerry McCambridge, the mentalist, driving around in the Scooby-Doo machine to go pick up a $200 couch from somebody's apartment. Welcome to Vegas. It's cheap. It wouldn't be over as we walk to the front doors with this. Behold the Lobster Man. Discovered off the coast of Nantucket in 1890. Caught in the nets of horrified Nantucket fishermen. Sold to Professor McFarkin's Auditorium. Toured the Dust Bowl Carnival Circuit until his demise in 1942. Mummified remains sold in auction in 19... I don't know. It's it's worn out there, but wow. Then you have these right outside. I love that. Here's our entryway, and it says right up here, Welcome Explorers, Tour Departing Daily. All right, here's our right, tour so, guide. So, so this place is open 24 hours a day. Oh, really? Yeah, it is. Yeah, all the time. Now, the thing is, though, if you're going to come visit, it's on Spring Mountain uh, over in Chinatown. You said it's very busy. You're going to want to make a, a reservation because generally, there's a line all the way down the sidewalk to get in this place. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the old cash register right there. I gotta tell you the gimmick about this place. What they like to do is they make shrunken heads of celebrities, local Vegas celebrities, and they make them an effigy. And they have these ceremonies here for all the different celebrities. Now, as you know, I worked for Vinnie Paul, who played with Pantera. He was one of my dearest friends. He died in 2018. We used to hang out here, me and Vinnie, to sit at this bar all the time. And this was one of our favorite places to go. So they memorialized him an effigy right here where I'm 
So there, there's this. There's Vinny Paul. That's awesome. And look as we're walking around. Look at all the celebrity heads over here. Look at all those. Wow. Frank Marino. <laughs> Rich Little, the Golden Girls, holy cow, they have another Golden Girls. Zowie Bowie, Devo, the Rat Pack, Dean Martin, and Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr. even. Okay, look at that. I think that's supposed to be Liberace in the center. But this is this is really inside baseball. That is Bob Gurr. Right there in the center with the glasses. That is Imagineer for Disney, Bob Gurr. <laughs> That's amazing. Siegfried and Roy right here. Great job on this thing. Look at this. He says there's way more of those heads everywhere. I mean, over here in this booth, he was showing me it's... Uh, Zach Bagans. Oh yeah, look at the ceiling. See the stars bursting and everything up there? Wow, this would be great call on this place, Bob. This is totally my style. Fantastic TV drinks, obviously, but they do have a lot of great non-alcoholic drinks, you know, like the Dole Whips and stuff. So even if you don't drink alcohol, great place to come get a drink, a fruity drink. And the food here is actually amazing. They have, um, we're we're going to get some of it. I assure you, you're going to love it. Oh, look at that. I love that. The parrot up here. I don't know. Now, this parrot will yell at the other parrot. Okay? They'll have conversations. So they're animated. Oh, there's another parrot down at the end. Uh, this is where me and Vinny used to sit. Vinny would sit here and play, and I would not play, so I would sit here. This He's a fan where, of the casino machines? This is, yeah, he loved to play uh, the video poker. So this is where we used to hang. Vinny Paul of Pantera. Oh, Be look at this. with some of these velvet paintings. They're nude, so. Look at that. I love that big one behind the bar. Pauly Shore and his band come and play here at the little stage over there all the time. He has Pauly Shore and the Krusties. You'll see them in here all the time. What the heck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, be careful with the paintings. Uh, and look at this. Really Whoa. careful. The look at the mouth. Well, there's a pirate dangling down here. That's crazy, but... Yeah, look at the mouth of this thing that we're walking into. The infamous oyster shell. Whoa. Sexier, sexier, there we go. There, and now you're talking. Now, there we go. <laughs> you can't unsee that, can you? Oh, whoa, before you go in there. Another mermaid. There's Chumley from Pawn Stars and the old man right there. Corey and Rick. Eric Estrada back there in the corner. Wow. Lloyd Kaufman, and Toxic. Toxic Avengers, yes, Troma. It's kind of a cool hangout room with the uh, swords and everything on there. But then check this out. They have even more. These, some of these are just now, hor horrifying. We just had recently had the ceremony for Eddie Trunk and Sebastian Bach. That just happened recently. Chris Kale, Five Finger. Who else do we have? Is that supposed to be uh, Rob Zombie? Uh, I think this is Paul Shortino, a local uh, performer. Good friend Jonathan, I miss him so much. Yeah, amazing Jonathan. That was he. I read about him like because they thought he was gonna die and then he didn't. It, crazy. He was like one of the most famous Vegas magicians of all time. Well, we had a lot of goodbye parties for him, and I was like, "You're still alive." <laughs> yeah, he said it got to a point where people are actually accusing him of faking they his it was illness. A joke, yeah. yeah. Wow, I made a new friend. This place is amazing. Wow. Back out here to this. Passing by the mermaid in the case. And Frank Sinatra up here. For you, a never ending story is a DJ here often. Oh. They have him here in the Falco area. David Bowie. Yeah, Labyrinth. Yeah. I'm not sure who some of these people are. Here's Hemingway, Charles Bukowski. What's this all about? The Museum of Strange. Well, you know, you have some gaps in here, you know, some fun, fun stuff. 
you know, Hawaiian shrunken body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some sort of weird toad up here on the wall as well. A little bit of sideshow action. Now, what the Golden Tiki is probably most famous for are their bathrooms. Now, I don't know how much of the bathroom you're going to be able to show. Uh, some of the the audio is very rude. Like while you're at the uh, urinal. A, uh, a woman will start laughing at you and making fun of you. Uh, the wallpaper is basically nudie magazines and things. So you may be able to get some stuff in here, but... Let's see what we got. Be careful with the wallpaper. Oh, wow. Look at this. So, the, so when you're standing here, usually... Um, I don't know, they may have it not running right now, but there's, there's all sorts of sounds happening. Wonder if we can trigger one somehow. Yeah. They may not turn it on. There. The, oh, there's. I see. There's a little trigger right there. Up there. Now I see it. Oh, that is awesome. We walk out of the bathrooms right here. I come around the corner because I see this ATM with the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon sitting on it, and they got Mama Fratelli's wanted sign right there. <laughs> Look. Hey, sailor. Show me what you Back got. Back here by the ATM. What do you mean, show you what I got? What, what are you referring to, money or what? We're back out here at the Museum of the Strange. I don't know if that's on the menu, but if it is, I might get one. All right, we've toured around most of it. Now we're gonna get a table and get some food. That bar is great. Up here at the bar, they even got somebody's head in a jar. Sorry about his luck. Ooh, nice. Gentlemen, I'm gonna grab you a lovely box waitress. I do believe it will be All right, all right. There's there. Video Bob said this is one of those places you can get the uh, drinks they light on fire. Oh yeah, you can get the giant pineapple. I think it's saying $75 for a fish bowl. The fish bowl. <laughs> they have a barrel service. You get a barrel. I hope they have a hammock for me afterward. Oh, they, they do. Yeah, the painkiller's good. Piranha Punch. Version of the Blue Lagoon. You ever had a Dole Whip? Of course. Okay, yeah, that's amazing. So, right where we're sitting, right above us is that other bird that Bob was talking about. How, how the two birds will talk to each other. Yeah, see, there's one up here. Again, look at the ceilings. You can see all the little fireworks going off and stuff. How cool is that? Checking out some of the food options here. Mermaid hot tots. Lion's head meatballs. Hmm. Oh, we yeah, should have got some. I'm gonna get the painkiller to drink. And uh, I was up here checking out the stained glass and everything, but then I kind of noticed what they were showing on the the movie. There's some crazy stuff on there. I'm loving that they're playing some of my favorite Beach Boys music in here too. This is great. They're taking advantage of the photo op. Look, our drinks just got delivered. That is mine. That is the painkiller. My request was something with coconut and pineapple. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Using the cell phone behind the drink. Double fist. Yeah, grab one of your drinks and let's cheers this. <laughs> Find a straw. Here we go. It's strong. Oh, that's really good. It comes for the umbrellas. I knew it. Yeah. What's that? Your Dole Whip? It, well, this one is the banana potato. <laughs> this is a Dole Whip. Uh, very popular thing here in Vegas. You get all kinds of plants with it. <laughs> Pineapple flavored ice cream, basically, like a sorbet. Yeah, it's a Disneyland favorite. Without. And on a hot day here in Vegas, there's nothing better than a Dole Whip. Especially when they put rum in it. They're having a thunderstorm. Literally, water was raining down. That was cool. All right, our uh, our appetizers slash meal showed up. Bob, what'd you get us? Well, these are the sticky fingers chicken bites. We got some coconut shrimp. I forget the name of these, but they're pork spare ribs. They are fantastic. 
Their food here is really, really good. So it's more than just a tiki bar. I'm starting it out with the coconut shrimp. Mm. Oh, I love the sauce. I'm, that's one of my favorite things about coconut shrimp. I'm gonna dive into these sticky fingers. I love all the bird sounds while we're eating. It's crazy. Like, I feel like there's like two cans behind me. Oh man, these are great. Those are really good. You don't spend as much time on this trip. There's lots to do. Mostly in Chinatown. This is Spring Mountain. We have Sahara. There's a lot of fantastic bars. Like just here in this one strip are so many great restaurants. Uh, there's a place called Pho Kim Long. I'll say that quickly. And uh, we love to go there. That's a great place right next door for food. Not 24 hours, but really open late. You know, over on Sahara, you have Vance Rock and Roll Show. Or the, the Counts Custom has, you know, he, he does his rock and roll stuff there. You got the herbs and rye, you got the uh, capos, Italian place. So, coming west to the strip over the Chinatown area is some of the most fun you can have as a local. But if you're visiting, uh, especially if you have a local like me to show you around, you can have way more fun out here for a lot less money. And this food is probably better than most of the stuff you're going to find on the strip. And look how cold this vibe is. But, want to have a reservation if you're going to try to come in here at night on the weekend, even here in the week, because it would be so packed in here you can't walk. That was my nickname. Yeah. Of demon seed. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Enjoy potent potable. Wow. Good thing. You can try the flaming drink. Blaming. Only thing that we order that I haven't tried yet is that barbecue rib right there. I'm gonna try that now. All right. Pretty good, but I think I like the other two things probably better. Which one of the three that you ordered is your favorite? I think maybe the Sticky Fingers uh, chicken bites. Me too. The coconut shrimp with the sauce is second. I agree. I mean, these are really good, but these are these other ones are so good. Yeah. Like they're over the chain good. I agree. I feel the same way. Oh wow! Something's going on. This place is just absolutely incredible. Good call on video Bob bringing me here. I didn't notice we were walking by the mummy earlier The uh, that she's pregnant. That's definitely a pregnant belly. That's just wow. Wow, wow, wow. Golden tiki. This was a pretty killer experience, but we're gonna wrap it up here. We're out of here. What a fun experience. Good job, Video Bob. Those did actually talk, but they were so foul mouthed, I can't share them with you. This thing just yelled, No turning back now. Golden Tiki, what a great time. Now off to solve another case. Not even the mystery machine could have got us out of this traffic. No, it's not even bad. that crazy bunch of kids. Some nightmare traffic for the old mystery machine, but we finally made it through it. Like zoinks. Now we're headed to the big bubble. I'm kidding. We're not going anywhere. We're getting out of here.
Well, Bob, this was a great day, man. I gotta, I gotta be honest, I had a lot more fun at that place than I was expecting to, so big ups for that. Glad you had fun. It's, it's, I, I recommend checking out the Golden Tiki, anybody comes to town. Also, Evil Pie on Fremont Street, all of their locations. Vegas is one of the kind of places that you can have stuff like that and it keeps in business. So it's a fun experience every time you come. And if you want Video Bob to come pick you up in one of his movie cars, good luck. Yeah, no. <laughs>